guys, good morning, how are you? <laughs> it's Friday the 13th, so I'm always happy, 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 dandy. I'm looking for black cats, lettuce, and cracks to break my mama's back. Anyways, guys, I love Friday the 13th. Why, why should we have negative feelings? Because just it, it's just a day, so I made it to be a day of joy and happiness and stuff like that. Just like every other day, who cares? Today we're going to talk about back to rank this ma major and minor. What are you talking about? Pex, the Pex, most, well, one of the most foreseen uh, muscles in bodybuilding, stuff like that. I mean, like every guy would like to have that big old chest. Their big old loop for retinal chest. What you expected me to say, Arnold? Oh, Today we're going to talk about the pecs. The human body consists of two pectum. Pectoralis muscles, of course. The. This is the stern, and this is where the pectum major originates from. Like this line here. This is where it comes from. And it all goes to my arm bone, my humus is the upper pec at least that's the way we talk about it and if you thought that this was the pectoralis minor ooh, stay tuned pectoralis major consists of two heads the clavicular head as you can see right here which we could call the upper pec and from now on we will call the upper pec so the chest is made out of two heads like your bicep is made out of two muscles so it's not like two different mu separate muscles. When we're talking about heads, it's one muscle with multiple heads. It's like when I'm talking about a five-headed dragon, we know that we're not talking about five dragons. We're talking about one dragon with five heads. I know this is a strange example, but this, you will put it in your head from now on. When you think th thinking about heads, it's not the, the, the number of muscles, but it's the number of heads a muscle have. It's just still one. So the pectoralis major, it's got the upper part, clavicular head, the sternocostal head. The sternocostal comes from like here and from the ribs a bit. And the clavicular head comes from here. From now I'm going to call the clavicular the upper and the sternal, uh, the sternal uh, lower. All right? One head, upper, lower. So. But what about the pectoralis minor? I wrote a little story that I really want to read up for you guys. And there's a link below to uh, an image. So you can see the pectoralis minor. And maybe it's the first time you see it. You see it. The pectoralis minor is a smaller muscle, you can even see it's underneath the, the chest and stuff like that, which connects the third, fourth, and fifth rib with the coracoid uh, process of the scapula. All right, so that's, <clears throat> that's basically it for the pectoralis minor. Because if you thought that the minor was the upper chest, Narnia effect. Anyways, let's talk about the function. The function of the chest is to internally rotate your arm. So internally rotate your arm towards the center of your body. So internally, externally, bringing the arm in, bringing the arm out. Internally. <clears throat> Adaptation of the arm. I've taught you guys that abduction is like abducting a child, taking away something. So the adaptation has to be bringing something. So adaptation is bringing in the arm towards the center line. So anything like this, this, and immediately a uh, medial rotation of the arms. That's it, people. That's the function of the chest. I hope you guys wait. Now up next is example videos. The highly overused but definitely not underrated bench press. This is the mass gainer for your chest. This is the best exercise for your chest 
end of story. The best isolation would be flexi uh, flies, but this is the best. I'll make sure that my shoulder blades are pinched together, that my elbows are in line with my wrist, but that my elbows are lower than my shoulder to prevent uh, future shoulder injury. I have a very slow and controlled pace. I do not fully extend my arms, even though it may look like that, but we ladies can overextend. So I'm not extending my arms. I'm bringing the bar down towards my nipple to make sure that my elbow is underneath my shoulder. And that's it for chest press, right? Yes, guys, dumbbell press. I really like doing this. You know, because of the stabilizations, you know, in both arms and stuff like that. The principle is the same. So there's an arch in my back. My shoulder blades are pinched together. My elbows are in line with my wrist. And my elbows are lower than my shoulder. Look at those arms. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, as you can see, I have a nice slow tempo. And there's a little stop at the bottom. Because I'm visualizing that I'm, when the weight is, like, on me. Let me just say it like that. Then I'm taking the weight off, as if a giant log has fallen on me, and I'm trying to take it off. And I'm really trying to squeeze the muscle. Try to not lose tension, because it's really easy to lose tension in any type of chest workout. The back will take over, the arms will take over, the shoulders will take over. Full concentration. That's the way to go. Exercise may be kind of new, so I, after, I thought I'd just explain it to you guys first. The bench is on a 45 degree angle. You got the dumbbells in your hands. But usually, when you would do something with two dumbbells and small, you would just hold these together and just push up. Right? Well, no. Now we're going to take out the arms like this and push in like this. I'm going to keep on pushing in throughout the whole movement. So if these are the dumbbells, this part, this part can touch the chest, but the uh, the back part can never touch the chest. So go like this. While you're squeezing this, you gotta see it, it's an isometric kind of workout. It's a, you have a workout going on and you got some isometrics. So you're still trying to squeeze this in while you're pressing this up and down. Oh, and even now, even though, because of the chest yesterday, it's hurting me. So squeeze those two together. And up. And up. And up. And do not focus on this part of your body, but focus on your elbow. Your elbow is... What are you doing this? It's like you're doing this. <laughs> you just, your, elbow, your elbows are doing this. Ah. Alright? Now to the workout. So like I said, I got two dumbbells and I'm going to squeeze my arms together. Oh no, first I'm going to grab the bench and put it on a 45 degree angle because I forgot to do that. Looking around, is everything good? Yes. So now I'm going to grab the dumbbells. As you can see, the, the dumbbell, the part of the dumbbells that's first facing me may touch my chest and the other side not. My elbows are out and I'm trying to squeeze. Look at the arms again! Whoa, my arms! By the way, I'm having... Uh, shoulder pains and this was actually quite hurting me but I would do anything for you guys it was really hurting me I even gonna regrip as you can see the, the dumbbells are not even aligned I was in a lot of pain trying to do this but I would do anything to help you guys uh, improve your, your 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 gym performance I would really just give it a try this is a great exercise and this is it's, it's killing for your in Entire chest. It's, it's mean. It's making it's making me cry. It's it's. Oh my god! I I I love hate this exercise so much. It's time to fly away. Anyway, just any type of fly, will do. I'm doing this one where I keep your back totally straight as if you're doing a bent over row. I'm still gonna keep my shoulder blades pinched together. So not my shoulders, my shoulder blades. You can't really see it. But that's what I'm thinking. There's a you know small bend in my knee, and I'm not trying to pass 
my body. We all know how to fly, right? There's no reason for me to explain this. There's nothing special I do about this. Guys, 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 if you want to stay, and girls, of course, if you want to stay updated for more tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe and share this video with anyone out there that wants to change their body for the better. And if you want to ask me something about fitness, body, uh, bodybuilding, weight loss, weight gain, whatever, let me know in the comments below or hit me up on Facebook, yo. I love you guys all. Hope you have a great, great, great Friday the 13th and a great weekend. Peace off.